Welcome to Haymaker Park. I called it again, Haymaker Park, Haymarket Park. Uh, Matt Folks, Lucas Irvin here along with you in Lincoln, Nebraska, and somebody's videotaping this, so hopefully it'll turn out all right. But uh, Luke, an outstanding performance last night, and I told Kenny in the pregame that uh, I've been calling this Haymaker Park. But I, I've, done the, I've done the same myself, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you threw so well last night that uh, there's no need for any haymakers, I guess. <laughs> Well, we thought the weather might give us one, so uh, you know, I was, I was glad the rain held off and we were able to, to go the distance. So, okay, so so Kenny has told this story, and I'll, I'll get your version of it. That he basically predicted, uh, we'll say predicted Thursday night that you're going to throw a complete game, no hitter last night. Yeah, he kind of said it in passing, um, you know, jokingly. Uh, I thought, and uh, it took me a few times. Uh, to catch on that he's, you know, he's being serious, and um, he just knows the matchups, and um, he knew that um, the way I pitch and and their lineup, um, it was in my favor, and, and he just he kind of had a feeling for it, and you know, I said I'd try, you know, and uh, he should say it every game, maybe maybe I'll, you know, pitch better every time, but um, yeah, it was an interesting call there. I'd never had that happen. Six innings of no hit ball, uh, three walks in the whole game, ended up giving up three hits total, two in the seventh inning. And uh, one run. So, I mean, by far your best performance. Uh, first complete game of the season for any T-Bones pitcher, as far as the win goes. And uh, what was what was working for you last night? When did you really feel pretty good? Um, in the fifth and sixth is when it started clicking. Um, you know, I didn't really have the command in my fastball that I that I would have liked to have. But my off speed was just good enough to keep him off balance, and and I was able to mix it up. And of course, Trevor called a great game, and uh, the great defense helped. So um, you know, you just I felt like I was kind of sitting back watching it happen. You know, but um, it, it was a fun time. Was- you know, the we we always talk about walks killing, but last night, I mean, you worked around every single walk, and I think three straight innings you ended with a strikeout. Um, did the walks? I mean, as far as you were throwing last night, did the walks bother you at all, or did you just keep? plowing through yeah they always bother me it's been something that's been kind of my my fault uh throughout my career but it's getting better each year and um you know I I felt good um last night and and I wasn't missing by a lot but you know they're gonna happen and you just got to try to minimize them minimize them and uh, I was lucky enough to do that so so tonight Eric Gonzalez is going how do you feel I mean after facing these guys last night how do you feel about Eric's chances tonight oh I I feel really good um he's a command guy everything's in the zone um a lot of us on the staff can learn a lot from him. Um, you know, he's, he's been around. He's, he's played in the World Baseball Classic. Uh, throws everything in the zone, and, and it doesn't matter who you are. It's tough to hit that when everything's at first strike. So I look forward to it. He's Lucas Irvin. He got his first win, a complete game, uh, three hitter last night. Six to one was the final in that game. From Hay Market Park, I am Matt Folks. Thanks for watching, everyone.